Welcome to the Setting Up Preferences demo. In this demo, you will learn how to choose and customize your preferences in your D2L Brightspace account. At the end of this demo, you will be able to access and customize a variety of personal settings or preferences in your account. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account. Click on the Your Name drop-down menu in the upper right corner of the page. Choose Account Settings. Notice the tabs across the top, Account Settings, Discussions, and Email. All tabs have good default settings, but they are customizable if you so choose. Remember that as you change tabs that are horizontal, D2L Brightspace will automatically save changes for you, but it is always a smart idea to click the Save button after you are finished making changes. Note that any changes you make will be for your account only. Any changes made here will carry through to all of your classes. We will look at a few key choices. At the top of the Account Settings tab, you can set the options for your Font Settings, Dialog Settings, HTML Editor Settings, Reading Content, Video Settings, and several other settings. By default, your font settings are set to small. If you change this setting, it will make all of the fonts across the whole system bigger or smaller, but only for your account. The dialogue setting is set to dialogues, which means that in a course, when you click on a content link, it will be displayed in the same window. This setting can be changed to pop-ups, which means that when you click on a content link, it will be displayed in a new window. The HTML editor settings defaults to using the Rich Text Editor, which supports text formatting, such as bold, italics, and underline, as well as different fonts, font sizes, and colored text, among other things. You can turn that off if you desire just plain text. By default, your language setting is set to US English. Currently, that is the only language offered at MTC. The time zone continent is set to the Americas and United States New York EST. If you travel and want to update D2L Brightspace with your current location, you can change this setting. For example, Midlands Technical College is on Eastern Standard Time. If a student has a test due by 5 p.m. EST, but the student is currently in California, which is Pacific Standard Time, the student would change this setting. With this setting set to United States Los Angeles, D2L Brightspace will correct the time so that the test is due at 2 p.m. PST, which is 5 p.m. EST. By keeping this up to date, all of the due dates and times will show for your time zone. Remember to save your changes. Back at the top of the page, under the Discussions tab, you have the default settings for your display preferences in your Discussions tool in D2L Brightspace. Here, you can change the look of your discussion tool. Notice the question mark in a circle at the end of each line. Click on these to find more information about the choice. The grid view option will display all message titles, and you must click on the titles to read them. The reading view option will display all of the messages, and you won't have to open them to read them. The threaded option will display messages that go together, indented under each other. The unthreaded option will display messages in the order they are posted. I will set up the display settings as show the preview pane, message list view of threaded, message list style of reading view, and I will not include original message in replies. 
When you change these settings, it changes them for the discussions area in all of your courses. These settings can also be made individually inside each course by changing the settings inside the course. It will only change them for that specific course. Remember to save your changes. Under the Email tab, you will want to change the Reply To email address and your email signature. Make sure that your account is not set up to save a copy of each outgoing message to the Sent folder, and that it is set up to send a copy of each outgoing message to your external email address. When someone replies to an email that you sent them through D2L Brightspace, it will go to the address listed in the Reply To box. In the Email Signature field, click in the box and type in what you want to show up at the bottom of each message you send. This field is the HTML Editor box. You can make it smaller or larger by dragging the bottom right corner in and out. For more information on how to use the HTML Editor tool, see the HTML Editor demo. Set up your display options to show external email addresses in the address book. When you are finished making changes, click the Save and Close button. You have now successfully set up your D2L Brightspace preferences.